Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Potty, and today I'm bringing you some NBA 2K14, my career series. Hold up. I know I said 2K14. 2K15. I apologize. That's my bad. Now listen, man, I know. I know. Damn, bro, you're making a 2K video. Man, this game, ugh. This game messed me up like 80 times, all right? Point... It, plain and simple, all right? It, 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 it ruined my career like three times. I'm not buying six dollars for a face cam just, just you know, to see my messed up face in this game. Horrible. Not doing that. So you know what? Here it is, man. All right, I'm gonna give you the 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 whole pretty much the basics. You know, I'm a point guard. I want to go to the Sixers, but uh, uh you know the drill. I ain't going nowhere. You know, you're gonna get the the ones that been picked in the game because you know, two K. Only pick those amount of players to do these. Raggedy ass storylines, <laughs> but you see right here. This is the, the concept of me and stuff like that By the way, I have no clue what the hell I'm doing, but you know what? Let's get on to the cutscene You've seen this time and time again, but I'm sorry. I, I gotta do it. All right, so let's just go on to the cutscene With the 60th pick in the 2014 NBA draft the San Antonio Spurs select Jeremy Brown from Oklahoma. Ah, this guy, and he's terrible. Good night, everyone, and thanks for coming. There's my guy. Your guy? Your guy? Your guy was told by his agent that he was going to be a late first round, maybe second round draft pick. Your guy's supposed to be in New York with the rest of those chumps. Your guy, your guy's about to blow his freaking lid because his dream of being in the NBA is still just a dream. Hey, chill, man. I know this isn't how we wanted it to go down. Believe me. Like I told you, you're my last best hope at the agency. If you wash out, I wash out with you. But I was thinking. Maybe this was the best thing that could have happened to you. How you figure that, genius? Better to go undrafted and have a choice than to be picked late by a stacked playoff team where your chances of making the team are about as high as my chances of dating a supermodel. Which, despite my contagious charm, are pretty freaking slim. So what's the move, man? This just affects our timing, okay? You just gotta keep working hard and be ready. Injuries, overhyped draft picks, sooner or later players are gonna wash out and they are going to call you. You hear me? Yes, I hear you. Good. Remember, Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team and made fools pay for it the rest of his career. Use the draft day slight as motivation. A chip on your shoulder at the beginning of a long journey. And like every journey, this one begins with a single step. So your first step? is to keep working hard, and we'll find you a home before you know it. All right, man. I'm believing in you, bro. Make it happen. Undrafted? Basketball's been my life since day one. What am I gonna do now? This can't be the end. Is my dream really dead? Okay, I know you've been staying in shape, working hard on your game, waiting for your shot. Yeah, so when's that gonna be? Because you told me not getting picked was a good thing. It was. It was. This is America. Freedom of choice and all that good stuff. And that is why I'm here. Now is the time. Teams are able to offer 10-day contracts at this point, and I've been on the phone nonstop. There is some definite interest in you. What's that mean? I get to pick where I want to go? Whoa. <laughs> It's not that easy, my friend. I, but there are several teams willing to give you a, a little tryout, see if it makes sense for them to sign you. Listen, man. 
First of all, you're not my friend. You're my agent. And second, where's the list? Because I'm ready to play. Keep in mind that these teams have varying levels of interest. If you want the 10-day deal, you're going to have to work a lot harder to impress some of these teams than others. Man, I don't care about that. Where's the list? Okay, here's the list. Let me know where you want to go and I'll make it happen. All right, so you get Alfred Payton and then Brandon Knight and then Darren Collison. Um, you know what? I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. I'm probably, you know what? I'm just going to go with the Kings. I mean, everyone's pretty much trying to build a dynasty, and I, you know, Collinson has, has been there. He's been with, you know, I believe with the. Oh, I just hit my head with the. <laughs> I think he's been with the. Uh, can't think. I can't think. The Clippers. So let's just uh, let's go to the Kings then. We saw your workout at the draft combine. We liked what we saw, personally. I wanted to take you in the second round, but the powers that be overrode me. You'll be playing with the big boys now. You'll be running with the twos against the starters. Do me a favor. Sell out every possession. Loose balls, rebounds, hustle plays, running the break. Show the GM he made a mistake in not drafting you. It'll make us both look good. We probably got room for one more player on this squad. Question is, will it be you? Oh, it's not a question at all. It's my spot. These other fools just don't know it yet. Okay, so you see my mom player right now. He ain't too happy. Uh, I mean, come on. Like, what do you expect? You didn't get drafted. That's your fault. I believe that's... A, my, like, he blamed his agent. I blame myself because apparently I'm trash. That's what I'm like. If I didn't get picked, look, that's because I'm trash. I don't blame my... I should be, should be blaming my agent. But see, we get that block out there. We're trying to do our thing around here for these kings. Hopefully get that contract. But listen, all right, let me break it down for you. I only got that, only got that long to talk. I haven't played 2K since, like, 2K14 last year but i haven't played it correctly you know i would go to hall of fame and pretty much do work but that i wasn't i would just drain threes and go to it wasn't i wasn't playing right and then so i'm trying to learn why not start learning on the 2k 15 brand new start all that crap so i had to put on the 2k smart play see what i'm doing right here that's a pass animation but i, I, I do get my two but that's that's passing you pass the ball to make this play i didn't know that okay i thought that was like my job to go in the lane and and, uh, and try to do something. That's not the case. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm new. You know, I've been I, 2K14 the last time. It was you know I, I played that constantly. The last purchase I ever played 2K was ever bought was NBA 2K12, and I barely played that. So pretty much I'm, I've been out of the game since. Let me think. NBA Live 4 2004. With Vince Carter on the cover, it's the last time I was addicted to a basketball game. Plain and simple. You had, I created everybody, like all my friends. I mean, like a starting five. I made a, you know, backup full of my friends. Always coming to my house, like, yo, why am I on starting five? I'm like, cause you ass. You know, I gotta be the, I gotta be the shoot guard. Can't be, everyone can't be shooting guards. You gotta be center. You know, nobody wanna be center in the game. Like, it is what it is, man. <laughs> but see, I used to be. All up on that, making creative players, and that 04 was like my job to make a full roster and then create a season and just see all my friends pretty much go in places and then they're being successful. You know, I'm, I'm not, as you see, there we get that nice little layup there. We're starting to come around here in this, this little scrimmage. Yeah, so I'll make all that stuff, but that, that, I don't have much time to talk. So I'm just gonna break it down to you. I haven't played 2K, right? Don't know what I'm doing. So these couple of videos, I do know now. Like I, I do know now. So um, you see right there, we get that little tip, you know, tip ball right there. I was gonna take it to the lane, but I decided to pass the ball and let my teammates settle on me and like me. So I mean, I, that's you now I'm learning. That's it. Plain and simple. I'm trying to learn, trying to learn game right there. See, I know. See right there, I could pass the damn ball. I'm not. See, but I, I do get it though. I'm trying to make a name for myself. I know I'm being a little greedy. You know, in my, you know, my pretty much my debut. You know game here with the, with the king scrimmage trying to get you know get the rebounds here no soup for you and all that crap but i mean it, it is what it is man i gotta i gotta you know play the game more and get used to it but um and it is what it is we're up by one point so i was like you know what let's just let's see what we can do i mean he's giving me space i should have took that but i went in and i don't get the buckets damn i mean that guy he gave me all that room in the world but he knows that i don't have a three damn it i just got like 
I just got destroyed right there, and I don't have a three. And I had no personally, I don't. I could probably drain it, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, look at the space I'm having. I can easily drain a three, and I don't take it. I'm trying to pass the ball here. I'm trying to be a good sport, good teammate. As you see right there, pretty much going to wrap the game up right there with that, you know, with that assist right there. So we're pretty much going to end the game with four points, two rebounds, and two assists, and those two rebounds were on defense. So, I mean, we're, we're working here. So he's going to pass the ball here. I think, you know, I can't, I can't say the name. I think that was Cousin, but you know what? Who cares? We won. Let's go to the cut scene. Yo, rookie. Huh? Some of my colleagues thought it might have been a fluke. What? Said there's no way an undrafted rookie could be that good. All right, so what do you think? I think you can do it every day of the week. You sound like a smart man. And the smart man has some advice for you. What's that? Tell your agent to stay by his phone. That's right. If there's any way we can get you here, we will. Move, man. What are you doing? We got our foot in the door. The Kings have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity. But they saw enough to take a flyer on you. So you have exactly 10 days, 240 freaking hours to show that you belong. You perform? You got a shot at a guaranteed deal for the rest of the season. We both live to breathe another day. You don't. But you got a shot at being last in a long line of might have beens. And I'm probably out on the street, too. Living in this rat hole. Hello. Rat hole? This is all I can afford, because you didn't get me drafted. <laughs> Let's call it a charming fixer-upper. Now pack your bags! We're going to the show! Yeah, boy! I'm going to the league! I got my foot in the door, and I'm gonna kick this sucker down, man! <laughs> you better. I don't want to ruin any more suits sitting on these vermin-infested couches of yours. Man, it's my house you talking about. Finally. I'm in the league. You did well in the workout and in the scrimmage. He's a baller. You give him a legit shot, and he's gonna make the most of it. I mean, when it comes down to crunch time, there's no one... Ten days, my man. We'll see if he can swim with the big fish. If he does, he might have a shot to be signed for the rest of the year. He might even find himself a spot in the rotation. If not, son, he's back on the streets. You ready? I'm ready, willing, and able, sir. You'll see. Good. Get out of here. You too. See, that's what I'm talking about here. We get the 10-day contract, so five games. So that's pretty much going to wrap up the video here. Don't worry. There's going to be a lot of content, so like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace!